Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're making a really delicious spaghetti bolognese. We love this recipe in our household, even my kids love it. So that's what we're making today. So I'm starting off by peeling and finally chopping a large onion. Now I'm adding some oil into a pan and then I'm going to wait for it to heat up before adding in my onion. And now we just want to brown off the onion for around five minutes before adding in the mince. I'm using lamb mince, it's just our favorite. So I'm going to cook this over medium heat and brown it off. Now I'm taking some mushrooms, I'm going to give them a rinse before finally chopping them. And now I'm going to add in the chopped mushrooms to the mince and fry them off for a few minutes. I'm now adding some of this seasoning, which is for mince. You can find this in the whole food aisle in the supermarkets. I'm also going in with some mixed herbs and some chili flakes. You can skip the chili flakes if you don't want to add any spice. I'm also going in with a good amount of black pepper. I'm now adding in a sachet of spaghetti bolognese seasoning and then I'm going to add a splash of water and mix that through. Once the mixture looks like this and it's really nice and thick, you can go ahead and add in one can of chopped tomatoes. I then added just a splash of water. I'm now going to cover with the lid and simmer. I'm now taking a handful of fresh coriander I'm going to rinse that and finally chop that up. I have a pot of water boiling, so I'm going to add in a generous amount of salt and then I'm going to put the spaghetti in to cook. My bolognese mixture has now been simmering for around 15 minutes and as you can see it has thickened really nicely. I'm now sprinkling over the fresh coriander. My 
my spaghetti is now cooked and I'm going to add it straight into the bolognese mixture. I just prefer it when it's all mixed in, but if you like it where the bolognese sauce is served over the top of the spaghetti, then you can absolutely do that. So my spaghetti bolognese is now ready to be served. I'm going to top mine with some grated cheese and fresh coriander. You can add any toppings of your choice. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, please give this video a like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.